Whether it's The Sims, isn't that the game you were really into? No. No? Madden, Mario, or Fortnite, it's pretty typical for kids to play some kind of video game. Mm -hmm. But just this last week, the World Health Organization officially recognized video game addiction as a mental health disorder. Here in Tucson, there's actually a facility focused on helping kids addicted to gaming. News for Tucson's Kendra Hall went to the center to learn more. Kendra. Yeah, children have access to it at a young age. And experts say, though it isn't a drug, it may not seem that serious, it can be very dangerous. Cottonwood in Tucson treats people for video game addiction on a regular basis. They have sort of brain functioning that's similar to people who have substance use disorders. And so it's the same addictive pattern. So yes, I think it's I think it's a disease. I think it's a disorder. Kathleen Parrish is senior director of clinical operations at Cottonwood. She says this addiction is starting at a very young age. She says they see some who aren't sleeping, eating, or taking care of personal hygiene because all they do is play video games. While it may not look like it's that big of a deal, you know, some people say, well, I'd rather have my kid at home playing video games than out where I don't see them or know them or whatever. But it's a big bad world out there. Kids can join servers. They can be preyed upon by all kinds of people. So there's those dangers. There's the lack of development that's happening for that person where they're just getting lost in a, a world of video games. She says in moderation, video games are okay. But when people are spending an entire day playing, it becomes problematic. We went to Game Trader to hear their thoughts. Co-owner David Jordan plays for about three hours a week. A good amount would probably be nowhere between more than six or eight hours a week. He says playing video games is relaxing and there are benefits. But he says moderation is important like it is with anything. I have parents that come in here all the time and say, my child won't stop playing video games. He's eight. You're his parent. You can stop him from playing video games. Now, Parrish says addiction to gaming can exist with another co-occurring disorder, and there are warning signs. We have much more information on our website. That's kvoa.com. You can also find details on how you or a loved one can get help. That's, again, on our website. Sean, Alex, back to you.